Hey, thanks for joining me again. All right, let's walk through some more Fallout 4. We are ready, Freddy. We are ready. We have weapons. We have provisions. Um, actually, it's a little dark. A little dark. Let's sleep a couple hours. Done and done. Okay, so let's venture into the wild blue yonder. Let's get out there. Let's get back into the war. First stop, Red Rocket Truck Stop. This is on our way south to Concord, which is going to continue the next main mission which is out of time all right we requested to investigate concord but on the way is a valuable stop the red rocket truck stop full of mole rats mole rats are a force to be reckoned with when they come at you in packs and they always do they're always burrowing under the ground and jumping up and taking you by surprise before you go across the bridge make sure you hit up this trash can here always some ammo here and always always at least some explosives of some kind. Here we go. Two fragmentation grenades. Thank you very much. Take those. And away we go. Two weapons I have on board are my two modded pipe pistols. All right. Showed you that last video. My 38 baby sniper and my I3D, my IDDD blood letter. Okay, this is my close combat weapon. This is my, you know, makeshift sniper <coughs> rifle. <laughs> Okay, and the Red Rocket Truck Stop is right there. That's our destination. But before we go there, make sure you always hit up these guys. This Raider always has this thing here, the Drifter out Outfit. This will give you pretty good damage protection, okay? Damage protection, rather. And take some mongrel meat. We can cook that up later. Make a nice steak out of that. And the tire iron, that's always there. Let's slap that on right now, that Drifter Outfit. As you can see, we have no ballistic damage whatsoever. We have 5 energy damage and 10 radiation damage, but no ballistic damage. So, slap on the drifter outfit and we now have 5 ballistic damage and 7 energy damage. That's a little better than what we had before. Before continuing, let's head up here and I should put on my close combat weapon. The blood letter, there we go. It's always a duffel bag up here with more ammo and whatnot. Let's grab that. Great, so we're doing okay on the 38 ammo. As we get close to the red rocket truck stop, let's go into sneak mode. This is where you meet Dogmeat, the German Shepherd companion. He's a cute little guy. But I am doing this walkthrough uh, with no companions. This is not as some kind of like challenge thing, you know. I'm not trying to say yeah, I'm a badass gamer and I can do this game with no challenge, with no companions, but simply because I don't enjoy playing uh, these kind of games with companions. I did Skyrim like that and I'm going to do this game like that too. So I'm going to greet Doggy. Hey Hello you Doggy. You're here all by yourself. You Let's take him on. Hotel? If you want to keep him, that's all you have to do. Greet him and say let's go. And okay, he's now man. your companion Let's and he's together. great help. Really. But I don't want him. So you. Where did you go? I'm going to get rid of him right away. Hey. Put him in command mode and send him up the road Head over here. there. Get him away from the mole rats because he imme immediately engages the mole go rats there. there. Go up here. There. Go there. No. Go Wait there. there. Okay, I think he's okay now. And let's talk to How him. How you doing, buddy? And dismiss him. Might be best if we split up for a while, boy. Send him back to Sanctuary Hills. Confirm travel. Ta ta, Fido. Away oh, you go. Come on. Go on. Don't take it personally. You're a cute little guy, but uh, I'm a lone wolf. Alright? He looks all sad and everything good. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, here we go. Red Rocket Truck Stop. Mole Rats. We got our. I3D, IDD blood letter. We got some stabby stabby action. Here we go. We got in. We got our first customer here. I think there's somebody behind me. He's gonna be. Uh... Is he coming back? He better not be. Okay, I don't have enough uh, accuracy on this. So let's wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Okay, that's pretty good. Couple shots on that guy. Come on, take him down. Come on, out of boy. Who's next? Okay, we're into it now. We have no fat, no vats. So 
we got some stabby action going with the bayonet there. It really helps in these situations. That's why I put the bayonet on. It really helps, especially when you run out of ammo and you run out of that. Yeah. The I3D bloodletter. The IDDD bloodletter. Triple D for in deep doo doo. Good. Wait, wait, we got some action here. Got another customer. Yeah, I'm at a couple of bats headshots. And I think I took him down in one shot. I'm saving my crit for a special moment, okay? Some of you who know the game well have noticed that I have a crit ready to go in bats. I'm gonna save it, alright? In fact, that's one of the purposes of coming here, to build up my crit meter. So it's already maxed out. And we've discovered the Red Rocket Truck Stop. Earn some XP for that. And I think that's all she wrote. Got some meds here. First thing I want to do is go in and turn off the radio so that there's no copyright issues with the music. There we go, and that goes off. And we have a workshop here. Let's discover it. There we go. You can now use the workshop at Red Rocket Truck Stop. That's great. So, let's take a look at what's inside. All this stuff here. We're going to leave that there for now because we're going to scrap some items and add some more stuff into the workshop uh, junk inventory. And then we're going to take all that junk and truck it back to Sanctuary. For now, let's go looting. Grab all this stuff here. Yum, 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 yum. Once again, everything that isn't nailed down, grab it. You start getting picky if you want by just by not taking anything that will only give you steel or wood or glass even. But right now our carry weight is pretty good, so it's no biggie. If you go into this terminal and read, um, it will tell you about like a secret underground compartment. And that refers to a mole den below, down below. I'll show you where that is. We're gonna go there and get a whole bunch of stuff. And of course, deal with some more moles. Okay, I'm good with that. Let's go scrap a few key items to get some valuable components. All right. One of them is this diagnostic cart. All right. Lots of good components there. That wasn't part of the, oh, that wasn't on the list. Back here, there's two um, telephone booths and one street lamp that will give good components. There we go, telephone booth. There we go, vacuum tube fuse. This will give copper. The vacuum tube, forget what that gives. I think that gives copper as well. So grab that, grab that, grab the phone booth and the street lamp, which will also give copper, okay? All those, everything else is optional, but it's pretty much just standard stuff like steel, rubber, wood, and glass. I wouldn't worry about that too much unless you want to build a giant gigantic settlement. All right, so that's that. Um, let's get out of workshop mode. We have here a cooking station. Let's cook up some mole rats. There we go. Oh, wait, we can cook up some mutton chops too. <laughs> Mutt chops. And that's it. Now we get dinged up a little bit. This is a settlement that we own. What we can do is build a bed and sleep in it to get some free health. Let's do that. Up to beds. Across to here. Plunk one down. Have a little map. There you go, free health. Is there another storm happening? Okay, let's get underground before we can start getting zapped. Okay, let's uh, scrap this bed because we don't need it anymore. And we're done. Okay, to get to the mole rat den, 
Start at the chem station, turn due south. And this will take you right to the mole rat den, all right? The mole rat den has lots of glowing fungus, all right? Glowing fungus can be used to craft rat away. And brain fungus, brain fungus can be used to craft mentats. All right, I'll show you more about that later. Leave the ball peen hammer because it's only going to give wood and steel. It's funny, screwdrivers don't break down into screws. <laughs> okay, I know that's lame. Okay, let's get into the wild interior. Okay, here we are in the mole rat den. The thing about the moles here is they're always back dooring you, okay? They're always sneaking up from behind. They burrow on the ground and they pop up from behind. That's their favorite trick, so you gotta watch out for that. So get sneaky sneaky. And it's always the same routine as you venture further down this hole. You'll see a mole rat down there. Maybe we could take a pot shot at him, see if he's there. Using Vast to try to detect him, there he is. Okay, got a sneak shot on him. There's always one pops up behind you here. There we go. Get some. Get some more. Yeah, it's your daddy. Anybody else? Yeah. Right in my face. Get down. Get some more. Yeah, level up. Excellent. Excellent. I think that calls for Mr. Burns. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Burns. Damn. Only a mother could love. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so the area is generally clear for now. There's one more mole rat, one or two more mole rats down that way. Let's go looting in here. There's a crap ton of crap around here. Look around carefully and loot. Loot, loot. Grab some brain fungus. Okay, pardon me while I look look around carefully here. Combination range, that's not too valuable. Just leave that alone. That's only steel. What was that I saw there? Brain fungus. There's also some brain fungus up here. Okay, I'm good with that. Let's get on the baby sniper. We got some action down here. Let's turn off the light. This will make us more sneaky. Let's just manually snipe him. Uh oh. Any friends? Yeah. Okay, it looks pretty clear. On goes the light. Great. Duct tape. This will give us some adhesive. Used oil can. That'll give us some oil. Wrench that's only steel. We can leave that alone. There's a safe to crack there. There's a couple of Braxo cleaners in here. These are really valuable for crafting. Should be another one here. And if you got dinged up a little bit like I did, you can always drink this dirty water here. It's no biggie. It'll just give you a few, just a little bit of rad's damage, but you know, not much. Look, 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 look. 
Look, 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 look. <laughs> yeah, no biggie. Yeah. Just choked out down there, General Badass. Live up to your name. Okay. Let's get safe cracking. Oh, yeah, how about right about boy uh, who's your daddy? Got it. So what do you get? We got a mine, a med X, two cocktails, some toothpaste. Oh, some more adhesive. Great, wonderful. Excellent. Excellent. I'm seeing something here. Oh, it's just water, okay. Alright, so that's that. That's good. Very good. One more thing. Actually a couple more things, but the most important thing that you should grab. There's the other Braxa cleaner. I knew there's another one. Okay, yeah, the most important thing you should grab is the fusion core, which is in there. That is a highly radioactive area there, though. So go in there uh, when you're ready. I see some bones here. Yeah, let's grab that. That's valuable. Okay, there's a duffel bag here, kind of hidden amongst the junk there. Make sure you grab that. Iguana bits, more brain fungus. Glowing fungus. Once again, that's good for right away. All right, let's make a run into the radioactive area there. What we want is this thing right here, the fusion core, okay? That's the most important thing. Everything else is pretty much junk. Let's go get it. Brain fungus. Get this thing here, the trash busters award. I think this is strictly collectible, doesn't give you any strategic advantage whatsoever. And the pistol. Oh, 10 mil rounds. More 10 mil rounds. And I have had enough of getting radioactified. That's it, that's enough. We're out of here. We're done. Whoop! Wait. I saw some more brain fungus. There we go. Okay, we're done. And finally, I did scrap a whole bunch of stuff. Let's go hit up the uh, workshop and grab that stuff so we can track it back to our settlement. Workshop. Grab all the junk. And our work here is done. Let's go back to Sanctuary. All right, back home. Let's take a rad away to get rid of the rad damage. Got totally ratty, uh, ratty active, radio activated. Rad away. Okay, goodbye red bar. Take a little nap. Get her health back up to snuff, get some well rested happening. Hit up the workshop, store all junk. Let's take a little look at what else we got. Don't need this. Save the mine for later. Don't need these two pistols, don't need that, and don't need the tire iron next. Let's store that, this, and next. What are we down to? 42. Should have some like extra food that we don't need. We don't need all this brain fungus. Keeping that, storing that. That we can eat. Don't need that. Store all those. That that goes to that we can make drugs out of. Keeping those on board. Uh, storing all those. Much chops we can keep. Thirty-two, still a little heavy. What else have we got here? I think we probably got some menu and some mods. That looks about right. I'll clean up later off camera. And we're done here. We have leveled up. Considering my like agenda, okay, is always more damage and more sneaky. Alright? And in that order, I want to hit harder first and then get more sneaky. What we can do is we have a choice of either getting the Gunslinger perk, which will give us 20% more damage on non-automatic pistols, or we can get the Rifleman perk, 
which will give us 20% more damage on non-automatic rifles. Now I know I have two pistols on board, but what I'm going to be using mostly in the future, in the very near future, is weapons that fit into this category. All right, so this may look a little back asswards, but this is the best choice, and you'll see why very soon. All right, so let's get the rifleman perk. 20% more damage on rifles, non-automatic non rifles, and you know what we can do? If we have the right goods, we can turn this 38 cal baby sniper into a rifle by adding the right kind of grip. Go to grip, go down to standard stock or marksman stock. This is great, we have enough to do the marksman stock. So this is great. So now, as you can see, it gets more damage because it's a rifle now. Okay? That's the thing about pipe guns. They change their their identity according to what kind of grip you put on them, okay? You can always tell what, what kind of grip it is simply by the way it looks, okay? You can see the grip, that's a pistol grip, that's a pistol grip, pistol grip, rifle grip, pistol grip, rifle grip, you see what I mean? And watch the damage, okay? The damage status that changes as I go from one grip to the other because I'm getting a bonus on account of the rifleman perk, alright? So whenever you change to a rifleman or a rifle grip, I get the bonus. So let's go with Marksman Stock, and this guy got a promotion, so let's change him. Let's change his name. Let's call him, uh, I don't know, the 38 what? Pipe Sniper? I'll try to think of a better name off camera. There we go. The 38 Pipe Sniper. And we're done. We are done. Like, thank you all very much for watching. Coming up next, we're going to push further south down to Concord and meet up with the Minutemen and get us some get us some heavy duty combat down there. All right, that's coming up next video. See you then. Thanks for watching.